Okay, I wanted to make a quick demonstration to show how it is that we can use a TI-89 graphing calculator to solve some of the systems of linear equations that arise from doing um, uh, steady state circuit analysis. So uh, I've gone ahead and set up a random circuit and I've developed two different KVL equations and you'll notice that these equations um, uh, are in a complex form right where we see um, uh, imaginary numbers here so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my TI-89 calculator and uh, I'm gonna try and show you a couple of things that uh, perhaps you haven't seen before with these calculators first of all sometimes it's nice to clean the screen so you can clean the screen by just going to F1 and hitting 8. Uh, oops, not hitting 8. I'm in a different screen here. So what I'm going to have to do is go to second and go custom, to, which will take me back out of the custom menu and into the normal menu that you see. Okay, so F1 and we'll just hit 8 to clear home. Okay, and it'll clear out the calculator. Um, now to solve a system of complex linear equations, we're going to go to Algebra, we're going to scroll down to Complex, push the right button to expand that, and we're going to select C-Solve. Okay, and I'll simply just take this equation here and write it in. And I'm going to substitute for I1, X, and for I2, Y. So I'll just have to keep that in mind as I progress through um, writing this equation. So we get 2x plus, and I'll put the i at the end, okay? The j is will be an i in the calculator, right? 2, i1 is x. Second, there's my i right here. So I click the second button. and then minus uh, 2y i and that is equal to 36 okay and I'm trying to solve a system of equations so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use and and you could I think you can type and in using the letters here but I'm just going to do this I'm going to go to second custom and I'm going to go to F3 for solve and I'm going to use the AND function so I'll go move, uh, move my cursor down there and say enter okay and now I've got AND and I can put a second equation in uh, don't forget when you're assigning a negative sign to a value don't use the minus sign use the negative sign so it's minus 2x I plus 2y is equal to negative 12. Okay? So now I've, I've defined the two equations. Now I need to define the variables for which I'm trying to solve. So what we'll do is we'll use a comma and then we'll use the curly braces which are right up here Okay, so we'll use second, open curly brace, and we'll say x, comma, y. And then we'll close the curly braces, and then we'll close the C-solve function. So our equation finally looks like that. Now we can just hit enter and let the calculator do the work. Oops, I get a, uh, an error. These calculators are, of course, very particular. Um, and you can see that I used, for some reason, I was, I used two curly braces, and um, the C solve function opens with a parenthesis, so I need to close it with a parenthesis. Okay, so that should work now. Okay, and it does a little bit of thinking, and it comes up with um, this equation here. Now I can move my cursor up, and I'll be able to 
uh, shift over and see the entirety of the solution for y, which is i2, okay? Or I can shift uh, to the right. Now, sometimes you'll not want to, you'll not want that polar form to be in exact values. The TI-89 by default always returns an exact number if it can. And in this case, the exact value here is 6 square root of 2. But what if I wanted that to be in a decimal format? Well, there's some ways to do it up in the menu, but the easiest way to do it, the easiest way to get any exact number from an equation in the calculator is to use this little green button here. So what I'm going to do is move my cursor back down into the um, uh, entry area, and I'll click this button, and you'll see that uh, this icon highlights here. And now when I rerun the command, rather than giving me 6 root 2, it'll give me an exact value. Okay, And it's giving me this value in polar form. And that's because I told the calculator to do that. The way I did that was I went into the mode button. Okay, and here is the complex format setting. So if you are working in a complex format uh, with your equations and you have an equation that's like 2 plus 4j and you want to put it into polar format, well, you would have your complex format set up to be polar like I have it right now. But if you want to receive the value in a rectangular format, just set it, just click the over arrow, change this to rectangular, and hit enter. And don't forget that you actually have to hit enter to save out of this menu. If you would escape, the changes won't be updated. Okay, now if I run the same command over again, rather than getting this polar format, I'm going to get it in rectangular coordinates. Okay, and so I get for i1, 6 minus 6i, six and for y, uh, or which is i2, I get 6i. Okay, so uh, I hope that's helpful.